It's time now for high school soccer from FM 95.3 WKLM. Coming up next, it's Before the Kick with Jake Seidel. Right here on Hometown Radio, FM 95.3 WKLM. Stock up and save during the truckload sale all this week at Rody's IG Marketplace. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have 48 cans Food Club Tomato Paste, $36. 24 cans of IGA Tomato Sauce, $18. 12 cans of Red Gold Tomato Juice, $21.48. 24 cans of IGA Fruit Cocktail, Peach Slices and Halves, Pear Slices and Halves for $26.16. IGA Scalped or Al Groton Potatoes, $11.76. 24 cans of IGA Sloppy Joe Sauce, $21.12. And 12 cans of IGA Chunk Chicken Breast, $26.28. That's the truckload sale now through Sunday at Rody's IGA. If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy at Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single axle, A tandem, and triaxle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Middlesbrough and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. Resetting your password. Unsubscribing from emails. Printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com. This is Noah Clark, former quarterback for the West Holmes Knights. Last year was an unforgettable season. Our success was a result of great coaching and a group of players that all worked together for one goal, winning the next game in front of us. We were a team that gave it all we had every Friday night. If you have any electric motor or power transmission needs, there's a great team of guys at Clark Fowler Electric in Worcester. They will work together to get your electric motor back on the job, whether it's replacing bearings, a complete rewind, or selling you a new motor. See their website, ClarkFowlerElectric.com. Go Knights! Are you finally ready to start hearing better? Hear Inc. has been serving the Holmes County area for over 20 years and believes everyone deserves exceptional hearing health care. This is audiologist Dr. Justin Garion, and we will provide a complete range of hearing services, including hearing aid fitting and repair and other hearing loss solutions. The Hear Inc. Berlin Clinic is located inside East Holmes Family Care on Dalby Lane or on the web at hearinc.com. Call us at 234-224-1124. That's 234-224-1124. Hear Inc. Join the conversation. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Stable Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Stable knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. HR Realtors has joined Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, giving you even more options for your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget that RES Auction Services can create a tailored strategic marketing plan to help you achieve maximum results. Visit res.bid for the latest auctions or call 833-765-3736. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. It's time now for Before the Kick, brought to you by Hobbins Insurance of Millersburg.
Are you covered? Hi, this is Larry Hobron from Hobron's Insurance Service in Millersburg and Sugar Creek. We don't believe in selling our customers the cheapest insurance coverage. We believe in selling you the right insurance coverage. At Hobron's Insurance Service, we won't sell you a minimum limits policy when you have a home or business to protect. We'll set you up a policy that offers you complete coverage for the long-term peace of mind. See our full list of services on our website at hobrinsinsurance.com or call us at 674-9091 or 1-800-340-3767 for a complete insurance coverage quote. Jake Settle with Hawks head coach Scott Boddicker and Scott uh, we'll start off with a big 7-1 to one win against Wes Jefferson to start your tournament run. What did you see out of your guys uh, in that match? Well, we definitely thought that uh, they had some guys defensively that we could take a little bit of an advantage of, and it sort of played out that way. Um, so I was pleased to see that. Even still, we were, you know, we were just a little inconsistent with some things um, defensively and uh, we're going to have to clean up some of those areas to uh, to win tonight I think. And going down to Northridge tonight and uh, of course your Hawks team no stranger to def- tough competition you look throughout the regular season you're playing against Western Reserve, uh, Mansfield Christian and a few other perennial powerhouses in this area. Uh, what can you tell us about that schedule and how it prepares you for this uh, really a stacked central district? Well, yeah, I, uh, you know, that's uh, something that we pride ourselves in is always playing in a, in a tough, you know, a tough schedule. And it's not even just during, you know, the regular season. We try to set up tough scrimmages. We choose the uh, events and things we do in the summer um, as wisely as possible. The, the final state poll in our division, uh, four out of the top five teams in the state, we, uh, we played here in the last couple of months. And so, um, yeah, uh, we, we try to play as tough a schedule as possible, and, you know, that will hopefully have us prepared for a good team tonight. And talking about being prepared, your uh, senior goaltender, Sean Troyer, uh, has had a very good season so far, four-and-a-half shutouts uh, and just over a goal-and-a-half per game allowed. What can you tell us about his hard work to lead this team? Well, you know, for Sean, um, he has been a field player his whole career, and we had a situation this year where we didn't really have a returning goalkeeper, and Sean had had experience in goal, and he really stepped up and said he would be willing to to work hard at it this year. And he's done a really nice job, again, for someone who's basically playing his first year in uh, playing his first year in goal. And like we said, Johnstown Northridge, uh, you're going to be heading down there. They're no slouch themselves, 14-3 and three on the season. And you already said you wanted to shore up some things defensively for this game. Is there anything else you want to see imp- your team improve on? Um, I mean, again, I think just decision-making and, uh, you know, that's the biggest thing, and that's really the, the issues defensively, too, is just choices and decision-making uh, that, Johnstown uh, Northridge prevents, you know, presents some challenges with the way that they play. Uh, their field also presents some real, some real challenges. It's very, very narrow, much uh, narrower than we're accustomed to, and that really changes the nature of the game. Um, it's grass, and we're used to turf. The, uh, you know, the rain all day long. We're again, it just. Those are some things we can't control. So the decision making, though, is what we've got to really uh, clean up for tonight. Okay, well, Scott, thanks for your time and good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Happy you're here. More to come on the pregame show here on WKLM. Before the kick has been brought to you on WKLM by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg.
Pomerine Hospital is hosting their 13th annual Christmas Festival on December 2nd from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and December 3rd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be beautifully decorated trees, wreaths, centerpieces, and more, all for purchase. Pomerine Hospital would like to thank all of their sponsors, Pomerine Medical Staff, Weaver Custom Exteriors, The Bargain Hunter, The Berlin Grand Hotel, Provia, Autumn Healthcare, Trit Party of Four, J. Miller & Son Excavating, Charm Builders, and Chance 2 Transport. Stop by the Christmas Festival at the Berlin Grand Hotel on December 2nd and 3rd. For more information, call 330-674-1584. Have you been to downtown Millersburg lately? Hi, this is Judy from Historic Downtown Millersburg. I would like to invite you to stop in and see what's new in town. Torrier Sweet Shop is the happening place. Get 10 of your nearest and dearest together and make an appointment to hand dip your own Buckeyes. Or check out our hip new store, Urban Farm Girl. Or maybe you feel like you need to let your creative juices flow. Take a class at Jackpot Pottery. Hip, happening, and creative. Downtown Millersburg. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endure and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. The Jewelry Store is now offering Infinity Permanent Bracelets. What's that, you ask? You select a chain style, sterling silver, gold filled or carat gold, and it's custom fit and welded around your wrist or ankle. No clasp. They are dainty styles that can be worn alone or stacked. Bring your friends for matching styles. Great for mothers, daughters, and granddaughters to show you are linked together or treat yourself because you deserve it. Be warned, they are habit forming. No appointment needed. Stop in and get hooked up. That's the Jewelry Store, 97 West Jackson Street in historic downtown Millersburg. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at Kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at Kime.express. Kime. Built on trust since 1911. And welcome to Northridge High School as we do set up for this tournament matchup between the Hawks and the Vikings. Jake Seidel with you this evening. And uh, we'll actually get to those starting lineups here in just a moment as they are about to play the national anthem. We'll step aside to be back on WKLM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible 1995. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. 
They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. And welcome back to Northridge High School. Jake Seidel with you. We'll try to get through it this time as we issue those starting lineups first for the visiting Highland Hawks and head coach Scott Boddicker coming with a record of 12 and 6 on the campaign. They'll line up like this. A senior forward, number one, Reese Mullet. A senior midfielder, number four, Kurt Kaufman. A senior defenseman, number 10, Trevor Hochstetler. And a junior midfielder, number nine, Corbin Miller. A junior forward, number 12, Zach Gingrich. A junior defenseman, number 14, Tom Leidenbach. A sophomore midfielder, number 17, Zeke Boddicker. A junior defenseman, number 18, Alex Jones. Number 21, Jonas Reiser, also starting there. Number 22, Logan Hirschberger. The sophomore forward and the goaltender tonight for the Hawks. Number 88, Sean Troyer, the senior in his first year as a full-time goaltender. And on the other side for the Vikings, they line up like this. It'll be a senior goalkeeper, number double zero, Maddox Johnson. A junior midfielder, number two, Brandon Neer. A junior defenseman, number three, Logan Neer. A senior defenseman, number five, Tommy Diamond. A junior forward, number six, Jack Van Fossen. A freshman forward, number 10, Thad Stone. And a senior forward, number 11, Keon Stone. A senior midfielder, number 14, Ryan McCutcheon. Matthew Workman, a four, senior forward, wearing, wearing number 17 tonight. A senior midfielder, number 21, Zach Holder. And a sophomore defenseman, number 22, Owen Williams, rounds out the starting lineups for the Vikings of Northridge. Head coach of the Northridge Vikings is Kevin Kratzer. He's assisted by Clint Kratzer and Scott Holder, as well as Nathan Hewitt. Hawks going to be wearing their road whites today, home greens for the Vikings. Their goaltender will be wearing a blue and pink top. Meanwhile, the goaltender... And Sean Troyer for the Hawks will be wearing yellow and the number double zero. Getting set for the first half in this tournament matchup. We'll go ahead and step aside. Kickoff comes your way next here on WKLM. HGR Realtors has joined Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, giving you even more options for your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget that RES Auction Services can create a tailored strategic marketing plan to help you achieve maximum results. Visit res.bid for the latest auctions or call 833-765-3737. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. If you're thinking about retiring, you probably have a lot of questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You are ready for retirement, but are your finances? I'm Rob Hovis with Edward Jones Investments in Millersburg. Let's work together to help ensure that your finances can keep up with your own needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by my office at 212 North Washington Street. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Resetting your password. Unsubscribing from emails. Printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com.
If you're in the market for farm equipment, parts, or service, there's one place that can handle it all. Buckeye Farm and Garden is your one-stop shop for all your farming needs. Located off State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Buckeye Farm and Garden specializes in sale and service of tractors, balers, pillars, box blades, brush hogs, feeders, spreaders, hay rakes, and much, much more. Check out their inventory at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call to set up an appointment at 330-674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment. Equipment connection. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready mix concrete and state approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mix styles are available and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fiker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. And we are set for this matchup between the Hawks and the Vikings. The starters have been announced. Now we wait on our head referee to give the okay with his assistant referees. The Hawks going to start the kickoff here. And inside the midfield circle, Logan Hirschberger to get this one started. He awaits the whistle. Hawks wearing long sleeve white jerseys as the whistle is blown. We're underway, and it's the old college kickoff play as Hirschberger will try to volley this one over the back line. Ball is loose, and it's being dueled for down on that far sideline before being taken away and now picked up by the Hawks back towards the neutral third. Coming out and picking up that ball on the, well, I guess a little bit of a send there. Going to be the goalkeeper, Johnson. Now the Hawks defense looking to turn this one around. Pick up is by Holder. Ball on that far sideline. It'll go out of bounds. Last touch by a Hawk in front of the Hawks bench. Actually a free kick. Did not see that signal from our official, so that's the first free kick of the evening. They'll put it on net. Troyer makes the save, and it'll go out for a corner. So corner kick far side of the field. The Vikings looking to take advantage of two early set pieces. This ball's in the air. A good service. Cleared momentarily. Now in the box and booted out by the Hawks and up to Reese Mullen. He tried to pick it up. Ball back across midfield and sent out on the near sideline by the Vikings. It'll be a Highland throw in. So they try to find Mullet. Mullet gets a touch on it. Sends it over to Kaufman. Ball knocked away on the send, and now Nur has it. It'll be loose on the far side. It'll go out. A Hawks throw in right at the beginning of their offensive third. Hawks trying to bring everyone up and get in. Throw goes straight into the box. It's knocked around. Now headed towards the outside and cleared up by the defensive line. I believe that was Tommy Diamond on that one. One-on-one -on -one going the other way now. As picking this one up is Van Fossen. Van Fossen across into the box. Knocked away momentarily. Van Fossen will pick it back up at the top of the 18. Sends it in on goal. And it's going to be picked up there by Troyer. His second save. Van Fossen able to use some speed and put it back on goal. So now that one knocked away by Nur. Sent forward. Kaufman off his line will dive near the edge of the 18 and grab that one to keep it from any further harm. So Troyer going to look to punt. Puts his right foot into it. Punts across midfield. Takes a bounce. Pongs off a few players and now trying to move the other way is Hirschberger. Hirschberger dispossessed, sent back towards midfield. Ball knocked away and now possessed by Holder who will send it forward for Van Fossen. Off the head of a Hawks defender. I don't know if that was a good heads-up play or if it just happened to hit him in the head. 
Pass a little too strong as it goes on that far side. And now the Vikings try to give it up. Now Hirschberger has it. Hirschberger passes back. And now here's a send into the middle of the box. And it'll be picked up by Maddox. Maddox Johnson, the goalkeeper, quickly plays it on the near side. So they look to send into the middle. And they'll find Nur. Nur, Nur looking to chip this one into the box. And it's going to run. Stays in bounds right near the flag before being knocked Knocked out for a goal kick. Going to be the call by the Hawks defense trying to limit how they were moving that ball. And they did a good job. A short goal kick now as they'll bring it up near side with Reisner. In the middle now, ball knocked away, picked up here by McCutcheon. McCutcheon, a chip into the box. Troyer off his line. It's going to be a race, but offside the call. No score, 35 minutes remaining in this one. As Troyer going to take the offside kick just outside the top of the 18, inside the semicircle. Another big boot off ahead, and it'll be picked up on the far side by the Vikings, sent forward, stepping forward and through some contact there was Alex Jones to knock it away. Ball's out for a Vikings throw in on the far sideline. Quick throw in there. So it's knocked around again. Ponged away and taken by Mullet. Mullet sends it forward, going to find Hirschberger on the near side. Slowed down by the defense. And some contact made the defender slip. Now a centering pass out up top. Trying to move it around. Some contact again as the Vikings running through 50-50 balls. Now fighting on the sideline, or pardon me, the far side will result in a shot going off the near post and out of bounds for a goal kick. Natural grass surface here at Northridge. which is a little bit different than what the Hawks are used to playing on with their synthetic turf field in Berlin. So it'll be sent forward, knocked away there. Van Fossen working hard against Reisner there as they'll try to move it forward once again. Hirschberger gives a pass out near side to Kaufman. Now in the middle, Mullet, left foot. It's going to go out for a corner. As it was blocked out of bounds. First corner for the Hawks. As they'll also they'll try to make take advantage of an early set piece. Kaufman to take it, the right footer. See if he goes short. No, he'll put this one right into the box over everyone, and it'll run all the way on the far sideline and out for a throw-in for the Vikings. Just overshot well, everyone there for a little bit. It's a header back towards the middle of the field, and now trying to send it forward. Ball is chipped down. It'll go out on that far sideline. Seven minutes gone here in the first half. No score between the Vikings and the Hawks. Ball knocked around, picked up there by Stone. And now a foul going to be called against the Hawks. And it'll result in a free kick about 30 yards out. The referee sets the wall. As it will be chipped over the wall and grabbed there by Troyer. He makes his third save of the evening. Troyer punts that one to midfield. One touch and now settled by the Hawks. Sending it forward that time was Boddicker. And I'll put it a little too far on that far sideline and out. Just 
Long throw in will get it up towards midfield for the Vikings before it's taken away. Slipping there for a second there was Kaufman. And now he'll get the ball on the far sideline to his teammate. Running it forward here is Gingrich. Gingrich cross into the box. Ball is loose. Head is down. And it's going to be a save made by Maddox Johnson. Short, long punt by Johnson. It's the ball picked up and now chipped on that far side. Chipped in towards the middle of the field. Now sent back by the defensive line. Picked up, now trying to move forward there. That ball taken away by Nur. Nur runs through Kaufman there. That'll be the first foul on the Vikings. Nur, the junior midfielder, wearing the pink armband, signifying he's a captain. So it'll be Corbin Miller to take the free kick. Trying to get it behind the back line. Ball is loose. Picking it up is Kaufman. Kaufman gets taken out. It'll be another free kick. This time about 30 yards out from goal. Taking the free kick, Corbin Miller. Miller, the right footer, floats this one up in the box. It's headed away by the Vikings. And now the Vikings with a chance to counter. Or it gets knocked back into their own territory. Hirschberger has it now. Here's a shot from distance, but able to grab it off the ground there is the keeper, Johnson. Shot came off the foot of Kaufman as the ball was loose, just trying to send it towards net at the top of the 18. Ball knocked down now. Picking it up here is Miller. Sends it in the middle of the field to Hirschberger. Now Kaufman. He'll send it back to Reisner, and now it's turned around. Mullet trying to make some room. He's at the 18, takes some um, contact now, trying to steal the ball, and it'll be a foul going against Mullet. Got a little too energetic. Down in the offensive end, and it'll be a free kick inside the 18. No score, 29 minutes left here in the first half between these two teams in this district matchup. It's a free kick going to go out on the near side for a Hawks throw-in. Reisner tries to get it in, and now that just booted away. Takes a hop into the defensive third for the Hawks. Now picked up for a moment there by Miller, and we're going the other way. Trying to send it forward here is Stone. Ball loose and cleared up to midfield. Hirschberger turns around. He slips at midfield. And we're going the other way on the far side now with Diamond. Diamond looking to get down and cross. He's inside the box. A move made. A shot with the right foot goal. We'll tell you about that goal on the other side of this break here on WKLM. Just one. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. That goal scored at 28-13, remaining in the first half by number five, Tommy Diamond. Came from his defensive post, ran it forward up the line into the box, made a few Hawks miss, and able to pick it up after Hirschberger slipped on the outlet pass up top. Trying to find Hirschberger in the middle of the field now. Is actually turning around trying to grab that one is Gingrich. And dropped to the ground is Gingrich. It'll go for a Hawks throw-in. Like I said, natural grass surface. And, you know, with the moisture we've had, it's slippery out there right now. This one sent forward on the throw-in into the box. Knocked around and now sent forward. 
Hawks defense trying to keep themselves out of a one-on-one -on -one situation as they'll send it back up to the forwards. Middle of the field, that one knocked around and a whistle going to be called and blown and it's going to be a foul against Northridge. And a free kick, 40 yards out this time for Corbin Miller. Imagine this is a bit too far to go. Try to put this one in net as he waits for his teammates to set up. He will put this one near the net. It's headed away and will drive the other way. Is trying to move it forward that time. I think that was Van Fossen. Ball will find its way back into the 18 of the Hawks. Picked up quickly there by Sean Troyer. As Troyer puts his right foot into it on a punt. Touchdown by the Hawks, and now they'll try to play out of their own end as they go to Miller. Now far side, trying to one-touch it over to Gingrich. Gingrich falls down. This ball's knocked around again. Offside's going to be the call. And it takes a second for our referee to see his assistant referee. Second offside's call against Northridge. So playing quickly are the Hawks here. So one step taken, now a pass on the left side, Hirschberger. Hirschberger turning around, loses his footing. Now Kaufman tries to send it forward. Kaufman will send it back to his defensive line to Reisner. Left side now, here's Mullet. Mullet looking across on the inside. He's got Kaufman. Kaufman looking to get across into the box as it comes out towards the top of the box, runs long, and trying to pick it up and carry it around as Gingrich. Before he's dispossessed, and Tommy Diamond will send it forward to try to start the counter. One on one, far side. Is this ball going to roll out over the line? It's a lot of contact. I guess it stays in there. It's the ball dispossessed off a bad touch. Far side now. I believe that's Thad Stone trying to get in there. Ball cleared off the back line. And now taken away by Boddicker. I'm just going to try to boot this one forward for Mullet. Mullet takes a touch, tries to move it around, a duel in the air. Set forward once again, Hirschberger chests it, now tries to send it forward. One-on-one -on -one as they try to clear it. Mullet gets a foot on it, and the clear sent right up towards Kaufman. Kaufman will get it off a touch there as he tries to drive into the 18. Kaufman turns around, he's dispossessed, cleared there by Nur. Sent all the way back. He's now turning around. Picking it up there is Reisner. Kaufman dispossessed. His arm was being hooked there as he's getting manhandled on the back line. There by Nur. So now it's sent forward. Hirschberger looking to find someone. It's loose in the box and coming out to pick it up. So the ball is loose again. Finally, Johnson picks it up. It's 1-0 Vikings lead with 23 minutes and change here in the first half. A very physical game here to start. As Brandon Nur has it sent forward and now cleared forward up to Kaufman. Kaufman has it knocked around and that ball will go into the 18 and it's picked up by Maddox Johnson. And he'll try to punt this one forward again. A low driving punt. Knocked back. Now headed forward by Zeke Boddicker and out of bounds for a Vikings throw in. Taking the throw in on the far side, Ryan McCutcheon. See, he'll put this one in. A long throw and it'll be headed. Almost out, and it is out, according to our assistant referee on the far side. Throw in, headed towards the sideline again. Knocked down. And almost cleared there, but now Diamond has it. Diamond going to try to send it on the wide side, near side. Ball knocked out. It'll go for a Vikings throw in. 
Reisner working against Van Fossen there. It'll be a long throw in. Essentially a corner kick here, but on the throw. And it's coming to take the throw in. Going to be Zach Holder. Holder sends this one into the box. Headed around and now cleared by the Hawks. And a foul, or a whistle at least. We'll see what the call is. Foul is going to go against the Vikings and upset with the call there is Keon Stone as he was talking with our referee. Ball will come back for a free kick near the eight, top of the 18. Troyer puts a foot into this one. It's headed forward onto that far sideline. Now back up top. Looking to send it forward here is Miller. So he'll find Kaufman. Kaufman turns around. Triple teamed, and now he finds Mullet. Mullet's uh, attempt to cross block. Now right foot. That might be on net just a little bit wide there. That might be the best chance the Hawks have seen tonight. Just about 20 minutes gone here in the first half. It's a 1-0 Northridge lead over Highland. That goal kick settled for a moment. Now healed forward by Northridge. 50-50 ball sent forward and now just clearing it and getting it out of danger into the bench for the Hawks was Alex Jones. Bounced in there, picked up there by Nur, and now taken away as the Hawks will try to move it forward with Gingrich. Gingrich in the middle to Kaufman. Kaufman brings a near side to Mullet. Mullet tries to send himself, but Van Fossen comes back to defend. Now Van Fossen with some speed coming on that near sideline, turns around, gets it off his own knee, and now a foul going to go against the Hawks. And boy, that's a dangerous area. A free kick right on the sideline outside the 18. That foul going to go against Jonas Reisner. It's a fourth foul given up in this half. So essentially a corner kick on the free kick here. As Nur, the right footer, going to take it. No wall for the Hawks. This one sent right in on a service. Headed away. And now cleared on the bicycle kick by the Hawks. Takes a hop. And now Kaufman trying to settle. He'll send it in the middle. They're trying to move it up to Hirschberger. But Miller couldn't get it all the way up to him. A good defensive stand by the Hawks after giving up that free kick. As Troyer picks this one up in his own box. Punt by Troyer. Settled for a moment. Now back up in the air. And picking it up here is Holder. Holder looks to turn it around. Takes a hop. Moved forward. Almost a handball there it looked like from Nur. For finally sent forward. Hirschberger puts a head on it. Now trying to settle it to turn it around. Hirschberger gets it back to one of his teammates. It's knocked away. And Hirschberger will have to save it from going out of bounds. And he won't keep it from going out. He just sends it down the pitch a little further. 18.05 remaining here. First half, 1-0. Vikings leading the Hawks. Looks like we're going to have a Highland substitution here in just a moment. We're going to have the next dead ball, I should say. Next Hawks throw in. That clearance knocked down. Moving it forward now are the Vikings. Here's a shot into the box. That'll be picked up by Troyer. Troyer puts a boot into the air. It's headed down. 50-50 ball will send it forward, and a foul will be called after it's sent forward. Mount 35 yards out from goal. I'll tell you what, the Hawks need to get these fouls under control. You can't keep, keep giving up set pieces like this, even if this one is a little further out. Five fouls called on the Hawks so far tonight. 
It's a long kick in towards goal, and it'll go out for a goal kick. And that'll bring a substitution on for the Hawks. I believe that's our first substitution of the evening. As checking out will be Kaufman, checking in Olin Troyer. This one sent forward, headed up, as back for Hirschberger. Now Troyer, middle of the field, will try to send it forward for Mullet. Mullet's got some room on the outside, cuts into the 18. Trying to make room, trying to make a man miss. He'll be dispossessed. Ball lost for a second there. Troyer couldn't keep it, and it's cleared. Mullet had a good chance there. He just couldn't hold possession inside the 18. And now a chance for a counter going the other way. Throw in on the near side. It's coming in with it is Williams. He'll get it knocked down. Van Fossen, that was almost out there. Now it's picked up going the other way. It's sent forward. And that's going to be out on the send attempt that time from Boddicker. We heard head coach Scott Boddicker talk about it on the pregame show. Now, Rising getting a talking to by our official. I don't know if maybe he the official doesn't like what he's doing, but just being told to maybe calm it down a little bit. As I was saying, Scott Boddicker said this field narrower than what they're used to playing on uh, really at home and even at a lot of their areas, uh, a lot of the teams they travel to, the Hawks. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be a Hawks throw in, takes a bounce, and now... Hirschberger has it, tries to cross it into the box. Ball is loose and cleared. Headed forward and now just skied towards midfield. And eventually go out for a throw in. Like I was saying, when you're used to playing on a wider field, you can send those balls out to the sideline. Your guy might have a chance to run it down as it slows down with the friction, but this one just a little too narrow. Here's a run on the outside, and it's just going to be sent out of bounds. A good defensive play there by Trevor Hochstetler. So throw in on the far side, under 15 to play here in the first half. Still 1-0 the score. That one up and over and goes out of bounds on the long throw-in for a goal kick. Troyer trying to get his teammates forward as he puts this goal kick in the air. Knocked around. And it'll be taken away on the counter. Sent in the middle of the field there. As Stone will send it to the right side. Van Fossen going to keep it in on the near side. Picked up in the middle there by Boddicker. And now the Hawks trying to send it forward. Some contact and it was shoulder to shoulder and deemed legal. Far side. Now the Vikings looking to get it in deep on the far sideline. And it is going to be called out of bounds for a throw in. Near the top of the 18, but on their own side of the field for the Hawks. 13 minutes to go until halftime. He's trying to turn that one around is Gingrich. Gingrich sending it forward for Hirschberger. Hirschberger takes a touch and gets it off a... He does get it off a Viking for a corner kick. This will be the second corner kick for the Hawks on the far side. And it's going to be Olin Troyer to take it. The right footer maybe trying to bend this one out. Hawks might try to get ahead as it's played high in the air. And coming out to grab it going to be the keeper, Johnson. As Johnson will boot this one from the top of his 18 on the punt. Knocked around and now they'll clear it forward. Gingrich trying to turn on it. So he's pushed off the ball trying to turn around and get back to it. Makes a move. Now sends it forward. Gingrich into the 18. It's off someone's back and now cleared forward. 
headed down near midfield and now trying to turn it around and move it forward once again is McCutcheon. Troyer will send it across the field as Mullet tries to pick it up. Mullet takes some contact, now sends it on the far side. Middle of the field as falling there was Troyer. Slipped on the, looked like his heel came out from under him when he was trying to plant. Is now the ball loose and semi-cleared. It will go off ahead and it will go out of bounds on the far side. So the Hawks throw in and some substitutions, or at least one substitution. Kaufman checks back in. Olin Troyer heads to the bench. As Kaufman almost falls there trying to settle that one in the middle. Here's Boddicker. Boddicker with some room. Sends middle. Hirschberger now outside for Mullet. Mullet inside the 18. Looks to cut inside. Mullet, he's tripped in the box, and it's going to be called clean by our official. Oh, that was a close call there, but another attempt there by Mullet taken away as here's the counterattack. And a good defensive play that time by Miller. So he'll take the ball away, and now Mullet sends it off one back to himself and tries to chip it in, headed away towards the middle of the field. Miller gets it with his side. Ball is loose. Reiser has it now. Goes middle of the field to Kaufman. Kaufman. Loses possession. This one sent down towards the 18. And as soon as it comes in there, Troyer will grab it. With 10 minutes and change to go, it's still 1-0. Vikings lead. Takes a bounce there. Picked up by Miller. The pass to Boddicker, he let through. He thought it was for someone else. As now it goes back and it's cleared momentarily. 50-50 ball sent back up. Boddicker will pick it up. Boddicker brings it near side to Kaufman. Kaufman working inside. Now he'll get it over to Mullet. Mullet near the touch line. Drives back in. Tries to turn himself around. Knocks it free. Kaufman trying to hold it. And is now that ball cleared onto the near sideline for a throw in. And we'll have a substitution for the Hawks. As Mullet going to come out. Kingrich going to come play on the near side. And here's the throw, and they'll try to get it to Gingrich. Gingrich tried to heal it forward. He did keep it in bounds for a moment, but it'll roll out for a Vikings throw in. Ball loose. Vikings want a handball, but it's played forward. Almost another handball there as it's a duel on that far side. Stan Stone works against Hostetler. Middle of the field now. Miller takes it away. He's going to just boot this one forward. It's towed down for a moment there. And now trying to move forward with the ball is Logan Neer. Or Nur. Ball finds its way down into the 18. And it's picked up by Troyer. Punt goes wide on the near side. Now headed down. As Nur tries to send it forward. His... Clear attempt blocked and now sent back once again. It'll be another duel on that far side. 10 versus 10. Sent back and just cleared out on the near side. Now sent forward and picking it up. Gabe Chupp, who just checked in. Oh, a weird scorpion kick there. Picked up by Miller. Miller with another touch. Now trying to send it forward. Knocked around. Kaufman trying to put it down. And now will go outside to Chup. Chup trying to send it forward before it's knocked around. Contact and advantage played. Sending it forward. Taken away. And the advantage played might have helped the Hawks there more than the Vikings. There's a lot of contact going both ways in a very, very physical first half. And another high ball knocked down there by Miller. Going near side and sending it forward towards Gingrich. Chup now on the near side. Look, or pardon me, far side loses possession of the ball as he tries to streak forward. And now Diamond has it on that far side. Tommy Diamond sends forward for Van Fossen. His centering pass knocked down. Now one-on-one. -on -one, here's the... Towards goal, and it'll go out on the far sideline on the attempt. I think getting a hand on that one to force it wide. 
And no, he did not get a hand on it, but good defense there. And as Thad Stone tried to get a shot on net, it goes off the side panel. Hawks going to try to play out of their own end here. As it's sent forward and tipped off ahead and out of bounds on the near side. Jonas Reisner will take the throw in on the near side. Puts it in the air. Knocked around ahead. Gets it up top to Hirschberger. Hirschberger looking to turn around. He has Kaufman. Kaufman took a bad step at it and couldn't get recover. It'll be knocked out of bounds by a Leinbach. And out for a throw in on the near side. Picking it up is Nur. He'll lose it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in on the near side this time for the Hawks. Reisner. Wanting to move this one forward quick. Off a face of a Viking, and now it's moved around. Tipped on the attempted service there. And now going back towards the middle of the field on a centering pass. Boddicker will pick it up. Sends it to Chup on the far side. Chup trying to settle that ball. Looks to move forward. Chup, middle of the field. Sent in the middle of the field. Boddicker now to Kaufman. Kaufman, one touch. He's got left side Gingrich. Gingrich. Knocked off the ball at the last moment and now cleared for a throw in deep in Viking territory. But the Hawks going to try to get this one into the box. They'll still leave three back. Reisner actually now going to drop back and defend as well as Kaufman comes in to put this one back in play. Kaufman into the box. Headed by Hirschberger. Now headed out. Ball knocked around and trying to pick this one up and move with it is Stone. Ball taken away and now sent back in by the Hawks for a moment. Partially cleared. Now picking it up here is Nier. Or pardon me, Nur. Nur sends it into the box and top of the 18. That was almost very close to a handball there by Troyer, but he stays on, his, on the line of the 18 where he's able to pick that ball up. And now Stone getting a talking to by our official. He's upset. I don't know if he was upset that he thought he was fouled or if he thought it should have been a handball down in the box, but our official giving him the that's enough signal. Ball knocked around once again, now cleared forward. And Stone turns around and will send forward. He's knocked off balance. One-on-one -on -one now, top of the 18 shot, and a save made. The shot came from Zach Holder. Save number five by Sean Troyer tonight. Up top for Kaufman as we just ticked under four minutes to play. A sliding tackle there to knock the ball away, and now Van Fossen has it. Van Fossen. Sends into space. No one was there. He thought it was supposed to be Workman running down in towards the box. So the ball's still in play for a moment there. Off Kaufman's face as Van Fossen centers again. Middle of the field, miss hit. And now it's in the box and tried to clear. And now coming out and grabbing it off the shin of a, how would he have, be off the shin of a Viking was Troyer. Ball knocked down at midfield by Mullet, who checked back in. Now sent forward. Tommy Diamond almost dispossessed there as Chup runs through him, and he is dispossessed that time. Middle of the field now. Boddicker tripped in the box after he loses the ball. Ball's in on the near side. Kaufman picks it up. Still loose and now just chipped up, and it'll take a hop and go out for a throw-in. Reisner with the ball, or pardon me, Reisner with the ball, looking to throw this one in. He will go middle of the field. Takes a hop. A lot of contact there as Kaufman gets sent to the turf. No con no call. It's middle of the field. Trying to send it on that far side was Miller. His send partially blocked. Chup back to clear now. It's one-on-one. -on -one. That shot attempt Came off the foot of McCutcheon. It's cleared. And now again near side. Here's Stone. Stone dispossessed. And I'll end up out of bounds for a Vikings throw in. And taking his time to get to the sideline is near. 
So he'll throw this one down towards the top of the 18. Ball headed forward and now sent towards net, diving in, grabbing it on the cross there. He's going to be Troyer. Cross that time coming from Holder. Punt high in the air. Stabbed at as we are under two minutes to play. Chup picks it up, now sends it back to his teammate, Hostetler, and he'll go out for a Hawks throw in on the far side. 1 0 the score with one and a half to play here in the first half. Hostetler throws it in middle of the field to Miller. Miller trying to turn as they'll move it forward. Off a bad touch now. Mullet coming on the near side. Keeps that ball inbounds. Mullet has a man. Might have been off sides. No. Gingrich onside. He'll throw it in. Ball is loose in front. Into the net. That's an own goal. An own goal at 1-12 remaining in the half. We'll step aside and be back on WKLM. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. As we are now under a minute to play here, and it's tied 1-1 between Highland and Northridge on an own goal. As Rice are being told by the official to back up. Headed forward, knocked down, and now sent forward by Nur. It'll go out for a throw-in. From my angle, it did look like an own goal. I couldn't really tell who put it in. I'll let you know if I can figure that out at halftime. 30 seconds left. That one headed forward by the Vikings. Now far side, trying to turn on its stone. As Stone sends it down the line, stopped and sent out Hostetler. 20 seconds to go here. As the Vikings looking to get it in. Now 10 seconds to go. They're going to run nine into the box. Into the box and... No goal, no goal. It went in off the throw-in. The official waving off the goal. And he says it went in off the throw-in, I believe, is the call. Five seconds to go. So they'll start the clock again. Three seconds, two seconds, and one second. That'll take us to halftime. 1-1 one, one the score between the Hawks and the Vikings. We'll tell you about it and get you first half stats next on WKLM. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic in Berlin and Millersburg also owns Pamper Paws in Millersburg and the Red Rough Rough Inn in Berlin. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic is there for all your pet needs. Whether it is for veterinary services, grooming, or boarding, there is only one place to call. That's East Holmes Veterinary Clinic with locations in Berlin at 893-2057, Millersburg at 674-5591, Pampered Paws 674-7297, or the Red Rough Rough Inn at 893-2057. Stop in today. If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy at Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single axle, A tandem, and triaxle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Millsburg and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. Hey, Grandpa, how long has Millersburg Tire Service been in business? I can tell you that one, OB. It was all the way back in 1953. That's right, Eva. In fact, that was the year I was born. Wow, I didn't know you were that old, Grandpa. I'll let that one slide, Wyatt. I suppose you're right, though. It's a long time, and I've been proud to help continue the great family tradition of offering great tires and service. And it all started with great-grandpa Schmucker and great-great-uncle Miller. 
That's right, Eva, and we're still strong as ever. And in the best place to live in the world, Holmes County. That's Millersburg Tire Service off State Route 39, east of Millersburg. It's finally here. That's right, the MRV Sunning Supply. Brand new facility is fully open for business and ready to serve you. Just down from the previous location on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, the new state-of-the-art facility provides easier access, along with a larger showroom, more products displayed, and more parking. Stop by and see the new look for yourself at MRV Sunning Supply. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Denco Marketing in Millersburg is accepting applications for a warehouse shipping position. Previous experience is beneficial, however, we'll train the right individual. Hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, with potential for overtime. Requires some heavy lifting, excellent work environment, competitive starting pay, health insurance, IRA retirement plan, with employer match available, paid vacation, and bonus paid yearly. Apply in person or email resume to john at dencomarketing.com. Resumes can also be mailed to operations manager Denko Marketing, P.O. Box 191, Millersburg, Ohio, 44654. The Holmes County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau is proud to support our local athletes. Our mission is to help our members succeed through advocacy, leadership, economic development, innovation, communication, and maintaining our community's identity. Visit www.homescountychamber.com. A single-family home located at 7986 Township Road 103 in Millersburg is listed for sale by Coffin Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $249,900. This property was built in 1979 and has three bedrooms and one full bath with 1,056 square feet located in the West Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Cliff Spring at 330-464-5155 or check it out at Coffin realty.com Flu season is coming soon. Hi, this is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg, letting you know that it is just about time to head to the pharmacy for your annual flu vaccine. Receiving your flu vaccine protects against four different types of the flu that are likely to be circulating in our area this year. This protection lasts four to six months, so we recommend late September to early October as the best time to get vaccinated and be protected during peak flu season. Flu shots will be available at both our Berlin location and our newer Millersburg location inside Rhodey's IGA with no appointment necessary. We hope to see you soon at Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Not enough at one here at halftime between Highland and Northridge. Jake Seidel with you. We'll go through some of these quick halftime stats. First, the goal is at 28-13. The scoreless tie was broken by Tommy Diamond coming up driving after a Highland player and I believe it was Hirschberger Lost his footing, and he drove it all the way from midfield down the sideline into the 18 and got the goal. The second goal in this game was also scored by Northridge, but it'll go down as a point for Highland. As Thad Stone put it in his own net on an own goal with 1.12 to go uh, in the first half. Some clarification on the final play of the half there. The goal that was waved off with about uh, three seconds to go in the half was waved off because before the ball went in the goal, a Northridge foul was called by our official in the box. So it wasn't that it went in on a throw. There was a foul called before the ball crossed the goal line. For the Hawks, one goal on five shots. They've had two corner kicks, fouled five times. Sean Troyer has five saves. On the other side, for the Vikings, one goal on six shots. They have one corner kick, three fouls, and they've been called offsides twice. Maddox Johnson finishes with three saves in the half. Uh, really good, especially three saves on five shots as defense has gotten in the way and blocked a few of those shots as well. 
Well, one one is our score here at halftime in this district game. We'll go ahead and step aside, come back with second half action next here on WKLM. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Weinsburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Weinsburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IJ Marketplace. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have holiday seedless grapes, two nineteen a pound. Gallon Smith's milk, three fifty eight. Vitamin D milk for three sixty eight. And IJ ice cream, two for five dollars. We also have Nathan's All Beef Franks, three ninety nine. Bob Evans mashed potatoes for three ninety nine. Thirty one to forty count raw Argentine red shrimp for nine ninety nine. And Sea Best salmon for five eighty nine. Don't forget to call 674-7075 for meat, cheese, and party platters at Rody's IGA. If you're looking for a fresh approach to pet nutrition, then it's time to go with Exclusive at TMK Farm Service. Every Exclusive formula is created with purposeful nutrition in mind, with high-quality ingredients that are good for pets. How is Exclusive different, you ask? Well, from exploring new and innovative ways to enrich the lives of pets, thorough research, quality shirt, and balanced nutrition, you can see why it's the perfect meal for your pet. Get Exclusive at TMK Farm Service, with four locations to serve you. In Berlin, Sugar Creek, and New Bedford, along with their organic facility in Holmesville. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. If you're a motivated individual looking for employment, then Village Motors may have an opportunity for you to start a career. This is Deke Miller letting you know that Village Motors is now hiring technicians with various levels of experience, service advisors, salespeople, and we're also looking for help in our parts department. We offer competitive pay and benefits and a remarkable work environment. Contact Tom Porman at 674-8543 or email him at tporman at villagemotorsinc.com. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Zach Holder in the circle getting ready to send us off as the team switch sides. Jake Seidel with you. Also, thanks to our producer tonight, Fred Williams and Wendy Hollinger, on the cameras for our Claxton Communications video crew. Always great to work with you guys. And bring the uh, Holmes County Athletics to the people. So it's sent backwards and now... Vikings try to send it forwards. Kaufman overruns the ball. We're tied up again. It's a brand new game starting the second half. Sent forward. Boddicker couldn't get it. Now Hirschberger tries to get up to Kaufman, but running through that one is Logan Nur. So he'll try to boot this one down the sideline, and he will get it to his teammate right outside the 18. Sent into the 18. Now up top looking to turn around on this one is Stone. Ball is loose, top of the 18, and now back out as Nur will send it in on goaltender. And that was Troyer back in there to make the catch. 
Ball knocked around is trying to run through it there. Was well, Boddicker. Ball still loose. As now it's cleared forward. Hirschberger sent down to the turf. And it'll be brought up on the near side by Nur. Now cleared by the Hawks. Down the far sideline. And it'll eventually go out for a throw in. Playing on that far sideline and coming out, picking it up, Hirschberger. Hirschberger looking to turn around, gives it up to his defenseman. So it takes a hop there, a missed attempt to settle it, and now running through the 50-50 ball and picking it up there is Keon Stone. Now it'll go out for Vikings throwing on the near side as Gingrich ran up and it just got sent off his shin guard. There's the bounce. Knocked around now, sent into the air. And volleyed back and forward for Jones to head it down. Now Kaufman at the midfield looking to turn. Sends this one forward. Hirschberger got a foot on it trying to get it to Boddicker who sends it outside. And trying to keep that one inbounds there. And doing so unsuccessfully was Reese Mullet. It'll be another throw in. So it's bounced around. Now turn and working on it there is... Reisner. Ball still loose. And now up top with Nur. Nur far side. Now Reisner, uh, Reisner tried to clear it. Down inside the 18. Sent forward and sent outside. Near. Now with his left foot turns around. Looks to cross it in front. Ball loose and now cleared by the Hawks for a moment. Off the head there of Mullet. And they try to send it back in. And Kaufman will send it forward. Now Boddicker. In the midfield, three green shirts around him. Gives up to Kaufman with one behind. Kaufman now cross field to Gingrich. Gingrich runs the trap perfectly, but he can't get to the ball before it runs out of bounds. He made a good move there to the inside, trying to fool his defender. As now Tommy Diamond to throw in on the near side. Gets it into the middle to near. And stepping in front there, Hirschberger. Hirschberger sends forward off a of football loose. Picked up by Mullet. Mullet, top of the 18. Looking to drive in. Mullet with his right foot. He got wiped out when he went for it. And down to the ground, and it'll be picked up by Johnson. Good attempt there by Mullet as we go near side again to Boddicker. Boddicker. Looks to send forward, and his send attempt cleared into the bench on the far side. One all here, 36 minutes to go in regulation. That one bounced in there. Boddicker took a body check from behind. No call. As now di driving forward is Diamond. Diamond dispossessed from behind. Now trying to move this one forward is Miller. Miller. Gets it off the back line and now looking to send it forward. Once again, here's Logan near. As it's going to be sent long down that far sideline. One-on-one -on -one into the box. Here's a chip and it's going to go long. And it'll go all the way across but stays inbounds as picking it up and trying to run it forward. There are the Hawks and Hostetler. Hostetler gives it up to Gingrich on this near side. Gingrich looking for Hirschberger. Now back to Gingrich. As now Host Settler will let it go out. Host Settler near midfield, looking for a teammate to get this ball into. So he'll send it middle of the field. It's headed forward on sides, across into the box. Ball is loose. Hirschberger trying to cross it again instead of taking it with his left foot, and it's cleared up and knocked down and trying to send it back forward. There was Leinbach. Picked up, ball knocked around, and it'll come out on the near side for another Hawks throw-in. A great opportunity there, and I'm a little surprised we didn't see Logan Hirschberger try to take that with his left foot down inside the box right at the keeper. So it's thrown in down towards Kaufman. Kaufman has it cleared from Diamond, and it'll fall out. Another throw-in as Hostetler looks to throw this one in. 
Finds Hirschberger. Off Diamond. Ball is loose. Kaufman tried to get to it. Now sent forward once again. Diamond to Gingrich. Gingrich trying to get around. He's dispossessed. Diamond's ball's tipped in. Now it's sent forward into the box, but no one's going to be there. And it'll roll out for a goal kick. A tough back line for this Vikings team. Seems like every pass the Hawks try to send forward, they get a tip on. It's Maddox Johnson. He'll play it short into the box on the far side. And now cleared up towards midfield. Grabbing it there, Corbin Miller. He's dispossessed and now pretty much run over. And he is tripped from behind. I'm surprised. And yes, there it is. There's the foul call going against the Vikings. Specifically, Zach Holder as he just ran through Corbin Miller to take that ball away. It's the fourth foul called on the Vikings tonight. So they're going to try to get this one as close to the box as they can. High ball in, and it'll just be caught. It's basically a shot on net there. Johnson will grab that one in the box. Johnson with the short, or pardon me, the long, low punt. Ball gets away. Gingrich takes a touch. Now goes right side to Kaufman. Ball knocked loose again. Now far side to Mullet. Mullet sends forward, wants to work one-on-one -on -one for the cross. Puts a little too much on that touch, and it'll go out for a goal kick. 32 minutes to go in regulation. Still 1-1 the score. So we'll see if the Vikings try to play short again. And no, they're going to play long this time. Low kick takes a bounce. And almost picked up there by Alex Jones. Now far side line looking around on that one, trying to pick it up. It was Mullet. Now a foul against the Hawks. The six they've committed in this match. Free kick across midfield. as They bomb this one in towards the crease. So it's knocked away. And now up top, Hirschberger trying to play some defense to seal the ball. Back to the back line. And again, cross midfield. Far side, picking it up and bringing it across. I believe that was Clay Phillips. Ball loose, now sent down inside the 18. Coming out is Troyer. He'll pick that one up. Troyer. High punt. Crosses midfield. As Hershberger tried to settle that one, he got sandwiched for a moment there. It'll go out off of Viking. It'll be a throw in on the far side. It'll be Reisner to throw it in. He will get it in here to Miller. Miller back to Reisner, goes middle of the field. Kaufman to pick it up in the circle. Kaufman, right side Gingrich. Gingrich dispossessed when he tried to make a move, and now a foul. Going to go against Gingrich. So he was grabbing on to the arm there of Keon Stone. <laughs> you can't deny it. He was grabbing on to the arm there. This one sent low. It's going to take a hop, and now... Oh, I'm surprised. You, you'll call that one back there, but a shoulder check goes unnoticed by our referee. And eventually Highland does gain possession as Gingrich has it, tries to set it forward. And now it's knocked around onto the back line as Tommy Diamond will send it out of bounds. Oh, Stetler looking to throw it in on the near side. He's got Miller in front of him. And we'll send it straight down. Hirschberger. Hirschberger takes it off the chest. Now tries to send himself. And he'll go down trying to turn it around on that near sideline. It goes out. And I think he's asking the assistant referee on the sideline why he didn't get a call there. Gingrich's attempt to cross there blocked. Ball is loose. Kaufman gets called for, I don't know, goes out of bounds. Thought they were calling Kaufman for a foul there. So the ball loose. And now... 
getting or going to the ground that time was Corbin Miller. will end up out of bounds, though, a throw in for the Vikings. Outside, and at that time, knocked out by Jones. And another throw in deep in Hawks territory. To take the throw in is Holder. Holder into the box. Headed up. And trying to head it out of the way was Gingrich. Now Kaufman clears it forward. Knocked around. Now Kaufman co clears it across midfield. Where it'll roll and go out towards the sideline. It'll be kept in bounds by the keeper, Johnson. who will bring it inside to the 18-yard box and pick it up. Punted forward, takes a hop. Jones gets ahead on it, now sent forward. And coming out to the top of the box and picking it up that time, he's going to be Troyer. 28 minutes remaining here in regulation as that punt's headed out of bounds on the far side. It'll be a Hawks throw in. As Reisner throws that one in and out, it goes off ahead again. He'll run up the field and throw it in again. Throw. Goes out for a goal kick. Goal kick brought down. Now it's kicked or cleared again towards midfield. Headed in the air. And will now go out on that far sideline for a Hawks throw in. Reisner. As a go out, but this time it goes off a hawk after after the throw. Ball loose on the far sideline now, trying to send forward. Cleared for a moment. Reisner has it. He has a move made on him, and now odd man rush going into the box. Cleared forward by Miller. And it'll roll out in front of the Hawks bench across midfield on the far side. Miller has it on the other side of midfield. Now sends it near side to Gingrich who comes back to collect it. Gingrich. Makes a move, goes near side, near the sideline, drives in near the top of the 18. Now sends this one right in on net. It's punched over, and it'll be a goal kick, or pardon me, a corner kick. A fantastic save from Maddox Johnson. It'll be the third corner kick for the Hawks on the far side. Kaufman, the right footer to take it. See if he tries to curl this one in the post. Kaufman with motion. High kick. Knocked around. Ball is loose. Kicked in the air. Still loose. And it's going to go out off the head of a Viking. No, actually kept in bounds here by the Hawks. Across the other side. Off ahead. Down. Ball is loose in the box. Trying to turn around as Gingrich. And now a shot from distance hits the referee. And it's going to be cleared out. And actually it's going to be an indirect kick I think here. Now a drop ball. The shot attempt hit the referee, so it'll be a drop ball outside the 18. Corbin Miller going to look to knock this one into the goal. It's chipped up and coming out and grabbing it will be Johnson. Odd place for a uh, drop ball with that one, but it's a hit our referee. It's a bounce forward, picked up middle of the field. Driving forward there was Nur. Ball loose right at the edge of the 18 and picked up by Troyer. Troyer. 
Puts this one in the air, takes a hop, headed backwards, mullet. The ball goes out of bounds, they're going to say, I believe. Off of Viking, and it will be Kaufman going to go collect it. And it'll be a throw in on the far side. Kaufman going to look to get this one in to the box. Big throw. Off one head, ball loose, and now cleared all the way up to midfield. And it'll be kept in bounds for a moment. Kept in bounds again. Now turned around and cleared by the Hawks and Leinbach. Miller's attempt taken away there. Boddicker runs a man off it. The Vikings bench wanted a foul. None coming. Hirschberger crosses. Has Gingrich. Gingrich has the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be a long throw in again down by the corner flag. Coming to take it is going to be Hostetler. So Hostetler down near the corner flag to take the throw in. 1-1, 22 minutes and change left. And that throw goes straight to the goaltender. And Johnson will pick it up. Puts, a punt in, or puts the foot into it on the punt. Sent right back. As Nur will send it forward and behind the defensive line. Now pressure as it's knocked back. And let's see here. They're going to say that was played back by the Hawks to their goaltender. As now it's going to be a free kick. Inside the box. They'll have five in the wall as they try to as the referee counts off ten. So a free kick inside the box. Nur to take it. Actually, probably it'll be Keon Stone to take it. I believe this is going to be indirect. So it's not a penalty, and it's inside the box. So they send it out. It's blocked and cleared away. Oh, and now another free kick going to go the other way against the Hawks. As Boddicker is going to get called for running through. Who's down there on the ground? I can't see the number. He ran through Keon Stone. Stone stepped in front of him, and this one will be a free kick from just outside the 18 once again. It's in to take. It's going to be Nur. Four in the wall. Nur from the, the top of the semicircle. See what he can do. Wall jumping around near. Going to try to put it through the wall. Save made by Troyer as he knocks it out. And it's going to be kept in on that far sideline back into the box as it's cleared away. Block now. Nur puts it down and cleared away once again. Standing strong there was Sean Troyer. As he crosses midfield and goes out of bounds for a Hawks throw in. Actually, no, it's a Vikings throw in. It's headed away by Kaufman. Ball loose. Hirschberger trying to head it forward from Mullet. Mullet dispossessed. Ball loose in the middle of the field and picked up now by Stone. Stone trying to send it forward for Holder. Now into the middle of the field. Ball is loose and grabbing it and sending it out for a throw in on the far side. They're going to be Leinbach. A big throw in as it comes in. And it's cleared away by the Hawks. Back to pick it up. Mullet at the top of the 18. So it'll go out for a corner. As Mullet just sent it down across his own end line. Second corner of the night. For Northridge. So 
So here's the foot, and off the right foot. Loose in the box, and now cleared forward. Mullet on the far sideline trying to grab it, and it'll go out, and a Hawks throw in. Taken away, it goes down again. This one will go out for a throw in on the far side. Reisner waiting for a ball from the ball boy to throw in on that far sideline. Puts this one in the air. It'll be knocked out of bounds. No, still inbounds. As Mullet gets knocked to the ground. Near side now. Has contact near the top of the 18. And now sent forward. Hirschberger hit while he tried to wind up and now sends it forward. That time goes off the arm of Nur. And we'll drive it the other way once again. Tommy Diamond in the box, and he'll have himself dispossessed. It'll go out for a throw-in on the near side. 1-1. One, one. We're under 20 to play here in regulation. Throw-in on the near side. Put in. Headed straight up. Headed down and grabbed. John Troyer able to grab that one off the head. And now a short punt. Settled by Gingrich for a moment. Now Boddicker has to send it down, and he will send it into the 18. Gingrich looking to come in against Tommy Diamond, and now Gingrich has it. Turns around across into the box. No one's there for the Hawks. Ball is loose again, and now trying the counterattack are the Vikings for a moment. Kaufman. With a clean steal as Troyer sends outside to Mullet. Mullet in the middle. Kaufman looking to move it around. As now Boddicker sends it in off a uh, deflection. Kaufman will pick it up and run down towards the flag. Kaufman trying to get the cross. Kaufman nutmegs in the box. And let's see here. That's going to go out for a throw in on the far side. It'll be a Hawks throw in. Didn't see who got a touch on that to send it out. But it'll be a throw in. On the far side. 16 and a half to go. That one's knocked down. Ball loose in the middle there for just a moment before picked up by Johnson. So you'll end the danger on that one. High punt settled back. Playing a game of Pong for a moment. So it's now sent forward and Gingrich trying to get it, but intercepting it's going to be McCutcheon McCutcheon now trying to run it on the near sideline he'll send it to himself and he goes out of bounds and oh boy he pulls up and I think he's got an injury that'll stop the clock here with 15.52 to go and we'll go ahead and take a quick timeout. 1-1 the score here on WKLM are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Well, McCutcheon able to get up, and he's walking back to the bench under his own power. Scary moment there as he's running down the field, all of a sudden pulls up. And now with the clock stopped, you will have to come out of this match. Got to feel it for the senior midfielder. 
Hopefully he's still okay and he might be able to make his way back into this match. So he dribbled the ball out on that far side. It'll be a throw in for the Hawks. And it's taking it going to be Hostetler. So we wait for our referee's whistle to resume play, and he will. Hostetler going to throw this one all the way up the field off the head. Hirschberger now trying to save it, but it'll go out of bounds off his foot. Jake Sodom with you this afternoon. It's 1-1 the score. Ball loose and now sent forward. Kaufman trying to pick it up. His send attempt was blocked as he, he comes up a little hurt there, it looks like, favoring his right leg. And it's trying to turn that one around Miller. He'll send it forward, and it'll be picked up by Diamond. Diamond comes near side. It's off a of foot, and it's going to be a Highland throw-in. They went off the foot of the substitution. Actually, no, that's Matthew Workman. Substitution's in. Going to see Gabe Chupp check in for the Hawks as well as Olin Troyer as we're under 20 to play and now just a few ticks under 15 to play in regulation. The Hawks looking for that extra shot in the arm. So one thrown in, settled there, and it'll go out for a Hawks throw in. Ho oh, Settler being told to back up by the referee. So he'll throw this one into the box. Tipped on the ground. Ball loose for a moment. Now cleared back to Hostetler. Hostetler on the right side. Tries to get it in there. And now coming out and grabbing it will be Johnson. Didn't want to have a uh, chance of anyone grabbing that one. Ball knocked around. Now sent right side. So it'll be sent into the box. That was actually a shot there. I think it was supposed to be a cross, but Troyer will grab it. Eight saves for Troyer tonight. One takes a bounce. Trying to send it for Chupp there was Hirschberger. Hirschberger with the slide, and Chupp will pick it up. Chupp now. Middle of the field, trying to get it to Miller. Miller works a man and walks him around. He's going down on the ground on that one was Stone. He was not happy that the official did not agree with the idea he might have been fouled. Ball loose now picked up here by Troyer. Troyer almost taken out and now sent forward and it'll go out off the foot of Diamond. Quick play here now. Hostetler finding Gingrich. Gingrich in a one-on-one -on -one down the line. Gingrich will get it off a of foot and it'll go down for a goal kick, I guess. It looked like he got it. Off the defender's foot from my angle by the assistant referee right there to make the call. As we are now under 13 minutes to go in this one. 1-1 one, one the tie, or the 1-1 one, one tie, the score right now. This one sent forward. Chested down. And down the line, it will roll, and it'll go out for a Hawks throw-in on that far sideline. Jonas Reisner will come out for the throw. Try to get it to Chup. Chup had it trapped on his back. Will be a Hawks throw-in as it goes off of a Viking. So Reisner will come across midfield to throw this one. Now he'll go back across midfield as the referee tells him he's got to come back across midfield changes in formation now Chup coming on the near side they're trying to find mullet over there ball knocked around goes to the back line jones whiffed it for a second there now trying to find troyer picked up by nur now middle of the field bodiker sends it over to troyer now miller miller middle of the field looks to turn now sends forward left side for Gingrich. Gingrich trying to drive on that far side, takes some contact on a slide, but the ball just goes out of bounds for a throw-in on the far side for the Hawks. 
Reisner going to come play the near side defensively, so going over to take the throwing going to be Trevor Hostetler. With just 11 minutes and change to go. Hostetler, far side, throws into the box. Ball is tipped off the post. And now Diamond, no, turned around by Boddicker. Ball still loose up top and now sent back up top to Miller. Miller, a low driving shot there, blocked. And now it'll be sent out on that far sideline for a throw in. A shot off the head off the post, or else it'd be a two to one night, or pardon me, Hawks lead. So the ball's still loose in the middle there, now cleared. Up top, here's Reisner. Reisner has his pass taken away. Jones just going to shoot this one all the way down, and it's going to ride. That might die right there on the line, but it just goes over. Chup trying to find it. It'll go out of bounds right by the flag, deep in their own territory, a throw-in for the Vikings. Ten minutes to go in regulation, tied at one goal apiece. So it's going to go out of bounds off of Nur there, and it'll be a throw-in for the Hawks as the defensemen will and the defensemen on the ends will switch again. So Hostetler back on the near side to take the throw-in. Hostetler. Gets it into the box, headed away for a moment, now takes a hop, and a foul going to go against the Hawks there. And let me tell you, there was a might have been some contact there, but given Oscar to Braden Nur. That's where the ball will go. Stroyer stands tall and denies the uh, service. It'll be kicked down as Chup was working against Keon Stone there. Substitutions coming in for the Hawks. Boddicker will come out. Hirschberger checks in for Gingrich, and Kaufman checks in for Boddicker. Troyer gets the ball to Miller. Now right side, Kaufman. Kaufman in the middle. Looks to go far side, and he's got Mullet. Mullet sends in. And now sent out for a throw-in on the far side. As Kaufman was going after it, now Hostetler coming across the field once again. As we're under 10 to play, under 9 to play now with 8.5 remaining in regulation. The Hawks have had some chances here in the second half to pull ahead. As Hostetler... Puts it in. It's off ahead and cleared momentarily. Coming up and now sending it back over there was Troyer. Ball loose in the box. Knocked away and now headed out once again. But Olin Troyer going to step in front of it. He's tripped from behind. The referee says it's clean. And it will go out for a Vikings throw as they try to counter. Picked up on the far side. Corbin Miller rolls through. Olin Miller that time he got swept up and it will be called. That is foul number five called on the Vikings tonight. Miller puts it in on the set piece. A high bounce. It'll go out on the near side for a goal kick. A good attempt there from Corbin Miller on the set piece. Just no one could get to it. Seven and a half to go now in regulation. Off ahead, now Olin Troyer has it. Troyer trying to move forward. Sends Chup. Chup can't get to it. It rolls across the end line and makes it a goal kick. Low kick, Chup gets a foot on it, now turns on the outside trying to send himself. Ball will go out of bounds. Who's going to get it? And the referee going to call it a Vikings throw in. Diamond throws it in, gets it off the chest and through and out for a 
throw in. Thad Stone tried to get it off someone and couldn't get it anywhere. Ho Stetler takes a run, throws into space, off ahead. Now in the box, loose for a moment and cleared out up top. As it goes back to the back line and a 50-50 ball cleared forward. Back to near. Back and grabbed at the top of the crease. Or pardon me, the top of the box there by Troyer. On a good counterattack run. From Van Fossen. High kick. Knocked around. Hirschberger lost it. Had it for a second. Now he falls down on the turf. Got slipped or slipped up out there on the wet grass. Picked up down on the far side. The Hawks trying to drive in. Here's the cross in the middle. Left-footed attempt through the uprights for football, but that means it's a goal kick. A big attempt there from Olin Troyer. He just couldn't get over top of it. Troyer almost got hit in the head there as he went low. Chop will pick it up and now sends forward. Ball loose for Hirschberger and a handball going to be the call. It went off Hirschberger on his run. Under five to play. Diamond will set up the free kick. Plays it low. Denner. Ball loose and now driving on that far side there going to be Holder. And now it's turned around again. Running near the far sideline. It will run out of bounds for a Hawks throw and four and a half to play in regulation. As Chup going to come out, Gingrich back on this near side on the substitution. In the middle of the field, Miller sends forward Gingrich. Couldn't get to it. Ball loose. Olin Troyer will let it be headed over top of him. And now trying to turn it around here. He's going to be Stone. Back up top. Ball taken away. Now Gingrich has it. Three on four going the other way. Gingrich near side. Here's Hirschberger. Hirschberger centering pass. Gingrich left foot shoots. Save made. Save made by Johnson is now 340 to play in regulation. The ball will roll out far side for a Hawks throw in. One more substitution. Boddicker going to come in, take the spot of Olin Troyer. Three and a half to play here. The Hawks have had some good chances here. So a lot of the second half, or is, well, really the last 20 minutes of this game has seemed to have been played in the Vikings defensive third. As I say this, a counterattack sent forward. Troyer with the diving stop. Nine saves for Troyer tonight. That ball knocked around. Hershberger trying to get to it. Hershberger pushed down. A referee doesn't see it. Now he calls it. He was going to give advantage, but none happened. Foul number six on the Northridge Vikings. Two and a half to play. Miller back to put this one in the air with his right foot. High in the air. Ball out saying it's going to be a corner kick. No, offside's the call. So the run offsides, there was contact with Johnson. Highland thought the ball was down or was held out of bounds by the keeper while he was trying to hold on to it. Ball loose in midfield now. Kaufman working a 50-50 ball, sends forward. He gets hauled down from behind. Advantage played, but none was there. Under two to play. Johnson sends it forward. Here's Jones stepping in front. Comes near side to Gingrich. Gingrich takes a heavy touch. It'll come out on the near side. 140 to go in regulation. Diamond, he scored the game's first goal and only non-own goal. As Manny Nur, the sophomore 
defense uh, defensive player subs in. Knocked in the middle of the field. Now looking to turn and fire. There was Boddicker. He'll get it off a body. Gets it off another body. Kaufman now looks to drive forward. 1.15 to play. Hirschberger has it. He gets it left side. Driving in. Here's Mullet. Mullet with an attempt. Ball loose. Boddicker shoots. He's taken down in the box by the goalkeeper. Johnson then gets stepped on. No call. We'll move the other way. Driving forward. Here's Hirschberger looking to put in the cross. Off ahead. And now cleared forward with under a minute to play. Hostetler throws it in the middle. Boddicker, he gets run through. And he'll go out for a throw in on the near side. 30 seconds to go in this one. Diamond. Throws forward. Boddicker tries to take it away. Now sent forward. Jones puts it down. Miller off a few ankles. And now moving forward here is Stone. Stone sends into the box. Troyer will grab it. Holds on. Ten seconds to go in this one. Troyer going to send it forward. High on the punt. Five seconds to go. Ball knocked around. This one just sent straight down. And we've got free soccer as this game going to go into extra time. Golden goal overtime number one coming up next on WKLM. If you're in the market for farm equipment, parts, or service, there's one place that can handle it all. Buckeye Farm and Garden is your one-stop shop for all your farming needs. Located off State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Buckeye Farm and Garden specializes in sale and service of tractors, balers, pillars, box blades, brush hogs, feeders, spreaders, hay rakes, and much, much more. Check out their inventory at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call to set up an appointment at 330-674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment. Equipment connection. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic in Berlin and Millersburg also owns Pampered Paws in Millersburg and the Red Rough Rough Inn in Berlin. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic is there for all your pet needs. Whether it is for veterinary services, grooming, or boarding, there is only one place to call. That's East Holmes Veterinary Clinic with locations in Berlin at 893-2057. Millersburg at 674-5591, Pampered Paws 674-7297, or the Red Rough Rough Inn at 893-2057. Stop in today. My name is Wyatt Miller, and I work for the best tire business in the world, Millersburg Tire Service. My grandpa Brad Schmucker wants me to sell you tires. Our tires really kick. Wyatt. I mean, they're really awesome. We have passenger, light truck, retread, commercial truck, tractor, recreational, and lawn and garden tires. Right, Grandpa? That's right, Wyatt. Let the entire Mellersburg Tire Service team take care of all your tire needs. Off State Route 39, east of Mellersburg. Call 674-1085 today. A single-family home located at 7986 Township Road 103 in Millersburg is listed for sale by Coffin Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $249,900. This property was built in 1979 and has three bedrooms and one full bath with 1,056 square feet located in the West Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Cliff Spring at 330-464-5155 or check it out at HoffmanRealty.com. It's finally here. That's right, the MRV Sunning Supply brand new facility is fully open for business and ready to serve you. Just down from the previous location on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, the new state-of-the-art facility provides easier access, along with a larger showroom, more products displayed, and more parking. Stop by and see the new look for yourself at MRV Sunning Supply. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. At the Commercial and Savings Bank, we strive to provide you with information and tools to help you meet your financial goals. This is Jason Hummel, Commercial Relationship Manager in Holmes County. When you partner with CSB, you gain access to a team of local experts who will stand by your side through every phase of your business growth. From commercial lending to cash management services, we are prepared to support your business. 
Call or text us at 800-654-9015 to connect with a business banker. The Commercial and Savings Bank, member FDIC. Denco Marketing in Millersburg is accepting applications for a warehouse shipping position. Previous experience is beneficial, however, we'll train the right individual. Hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, with potential for overtime. Requires some heavy lifting, excellent work environment, competitive starting pay, health insurance, IRA retirement plan, with employer match available, paid vacation, and bonus paid yearly. Apply in person or email resume to john at dencomarketing.com. Resumes can also be mailed to operations manager Denco Marketing, P.O. Box 191, Millersburg, Ohio, 44654. Well, free soccer tonight is the uh, needed to decide who will move on in this tournament game. Jake Seidel with you this afternoon, and it will be a, here's what we do in high school. It's two golden goal overtime periods, 10 minutes each. If someone scores, though, the game is over. If no one scores in the first golden goal over time, it goes. Uh, you, you take a break, and then you go to a second one. If it's still tied after 20 minutes of play, then we go to a penalty shootout. So one more time, golden goal over time. First team to score wins. If it's still tied after two 10-minute periods, we'll go to a shootout to decide who will move on in this one. Very interesting and very busy final almost 10 minutes of play there in the second half. Uh, it was very interesting to see just how things are going to unfold. A full 40 minutes without a goal. Technically, the Hawks haven't scored a goal as their, own, their only goal came as an own goal with one minute left in the first half. Uh, winner. <laughs> well, we've got to get through this one first. We'll tell you more about what could happen on the other side of this break as we begin play. Highland will start with the kickoff here. So we get set to go once again. Winner of this one will face either Worthington Christian or West Muskingum. Game will be announced at a later date as they'll try the college kickoff play, sending this one straight up. Hirschberger with a chance, and it'll be sent wide. And it'll go out off a Viking for a Hawks throw in. Hirschberger was trying to find a mullet on the near side. That one's headed down. And now taken away for a moment there by Reisner. Ball loose. Hirschberger again looking to go. Hirschberger sandwich steps away with the ball. Hirschberger with a touch. A touch again. Now right side. Boddicker finds Kaufman right side. Here's the cross a little bit high. Mullet can't get the shot off the ball. Still in play on that far side. And it's going to be near able to come up with it. But now Mullet drives into the box. A low driver. Ball is loose. Off the cross and now picking it up, Miller. Miller gets hit and a free kick going to be given just outside the 18. This one will be just about 15 yards, 20 yards out from goal. Seventh foul given to Northridge tonight. Who's going to... Free kick now. We'll see who takes it. It's either going to be Gingrich or Miller. So he set the wall. Gingrich and Miller standing over it. Four people in the wall for Northridge. Our referee looking things over. Gives his whistle. Gingrich steps over it. Miller plays short. Gingrich, right foot. Ball is loose. Save made. Save number nine by Johnson tonight. So he's able to fall on top of that one, trying to send this one forward. 
as Jones will knock it around. It'll go out on the far side for a throw in. Trying to move it the other way now, headed over. It'll be a goal kick for the Hawks. I beg your pardon. It's actually, I said it was going to be two 10 minute uh, golden goal overtime. It's actually 15 golden goal. It's a golden goal overtime length. They go far side, sending this one way up. Hirschberger not able to get a touch on it. Diamond has it. And he'll look to send near side. Dropped down by Reisner. Now the ball loose and sent down towards the 18. Headed backwards and coming to try to get it and grabbing it. And did he fall out of the box with it? Either way, it's Troyer that has it, and it's going to be a free kick. As Zach Holder getting a talking to from our official on the far side for, I don't know if he made contact or if our official just thought he was taking a little too much liberty going towards the goaltender. Hostetler will put the free kick into his own bench, and it'll be a throw in on the far sideline. 11 and a half to play here in this first golden goal overtime period as it's knocked into the air. Now knocked down. Sent outside by Hirschberger. That ball knocked away. And now Pong's back up forward to Kaufman. Kaufman takes some contact. Now Reisner with it. Reisner has it ponged off a player, and it's going to go back to Jones. Cleared for a moment there. And now Hostetler going to just look to clear this one up. Settled there by Hirschberger. Hirschberger with a volley on the far side. Here comes Gingrich. Gingrich inside the box. Now looking to take the ball back in the box, and he'll be dispossessed. On the far side, Diamond wanted offsides the call. And eventually offside is the call. I never saw the flag go up on the far side. But I believe offside the call there. Maybe not, but now the clock stopped for an injured player. As fall, or going down there was Matthew Workman. Got a little bit of a limp, and now a substitution coming in. It'll be Connor Balka. So the clock stopped with 10.36 to go here in overtime period number one. With the injury substitution, the Hawks will also get one in. Kaufman will pick it up. And now here's the kick. Takes a bounce and it'll go out for a Hawks throw in near midfield. Hostetler going to throw it in on the far side. Ten and a half to go. So the clock should have started running after the ball was kicked, but now the clock has stopped running. And now we'll start again. Throw to Gingrich offline, but Boddicker comes up with it. Now Hirschberger on the far side outside the 18. Hirschberger, he'll put one in towards net. Rebound knocked loose, and it's going to be cleared. Now Miller was fouled, and he'll be awarded a free kick. That's nine fouls. That one called on Keon Stone. Free kick into the box. It's going to take a hop and grabbing it going to be Johnson. Under 10 to play now as here's the punt from Johnson over midfield. Takes a hop. Now Jones looking to get ahead on it. And Troyer will come out and grab it. Good job by Jones there to get ahead on it high enough for his goaltender as now that one almost taken away as Reisner had a bad touch. Now the ball loose again. They're going to go outside now. Here's Stone. Stone dispossessed by Reisner as now Stone slides and knocks the ball out of bounds. Reisner will have a throw in. Throw in, knocked around, ball is loose, and it'll go out of bounds. It'll be a Hawks throw in. Oh, boy. Don't know. Looked like that one went off the head. 
of Nur there, but throw this one down in. Reisner gets a knee on it. Now up to Hershberger. Hershberger just sends this one down into the offensive zone. Johnson will pick it up in the box, and a injury now. Hershberger on the ground, and medical staff going to come and check on Logan Hershberger. We'll take a quick timeout, and we'll be back with more overtime action here on WKLM. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at kime.express. Kime on trust since 1911. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IJ Marketplace. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have holiday seedless grapes, two nineteen a pound, gallon Smith's milk, three fifty eight, vitamin D milk for three sixty eight, and IJ ice cream, two for five dollars. We also have Nathan's All Beef Franks, three ninety nine, Bob Evans mashed potatoes for three ninety nine, thirty one to forty count raw Argentine red shrimp for nine ninety nine, and Sea Best salmon for five eighty nine. Don't forget to call six seven four seven zero seven five for meat, cheese, and party platters at Rody's IGA. Hirschberger being helped off the field onto the far side, not wanting to put any weight on that left leg, and we hope he's okay. He's been a real difference maker up front as checking in for him is going to be Gabe Chupp. Our referee will wait to start the clock here and do a drop ball as he's going to get it to the goaltender, Johnson, who was in the midst of punting uh, when he... And play was stopped. That one headed back. Chup off the chest. Heads it forward. Diamond to take it away as he'll make a move to his right. Now looks to drive across midfield. Diamond looks to send near side. A little bit uh, bad touch there by Nur. It'll be a throw in for the Hawks. Reisner. Moved around. The ball saved from going out of bounds. Now sent forward. And Reisner will have it go off his foot, and it will be sent forward by Stone. Near side now, that time for Van Fossen. And now the ball loose and just cleared forward up to midfield. A bad touch there by Logan Near, and trying to move it forward. He'll get over to Matty. Sent forward, headed back. And it's coming up and grabbing it off the header will be Troyer. 7.45 to go here in this first overtime period. That send coming is now Diamond going to look to turn around and work against Chup. Chup knocked the ball loose for a moment there. Now it is taken away. Chup trying to go on the outside, makes some contact, pulls out, sends in the cross. Gingrich tried to grab it now on the far side for Miller. Miller on the ground, top of the 18 and cleared up and forward, headed down by the Hawks and sent around and knocked around by a few different people. Almost a dangerous play there, trying to play that ball on the ground. As we come near side, now Mullet. Mullet to Gingrich. Gingrich into the box with his left foot. He'll try to cross it, and he will not get it. He'll have it go out for a goal kick. Seven minutes to go in this first overtime period. It's knocked into the air. Hostetler will let it ride out for a throw in. Throw in goes right off the rib of a defender on the far side and out for another throw in. Reisner will get another chance at it. See if he goes towards the box. Goes down the sideline. Gingrich near side tries his right foot, turns around, wants to make some moves. Gingrich across the goal line or down the sideline, I should say, and it'll be grabbed that time by Johnson. Ball loose and knocked around. Hostetler looking to move it. Hostetler bulldozed, and it'll be a foul against the Vikings. 
down in their own offensive end. Ten fouls in this contest. Combined for 17 so far. So it'll be a free kick on the 18. Five and a half to go here in this first golden goal overtime. Chop settles. And a handball given. It'll be a free kick for Diamond. Diamond takes it across midfield. As all but three move forward for the Vikings. Diamond got some air under it. Jones puts his thigh on it, and it'll ride out on the far sideline for a throw-in. Good defense there, just keeping it off the feet and head of a Viking. But now a dangerous throw-in coming from Zach Holder. Holder on the far side. Going to take a run. Throws this one into the box. Ball is loose. Headed away by Boddicker. Now loose at the top of the 18. Ball loose once again. And now here comes the counter. As Miller loses it behind him. It's picked up by Van Fossen. Now going left side over to Stone. Stone working against Chupp on that far sideline. Stone almost stumbles and loses it. Now Chupp steps ahead of him trying to grab that ball. And grabbing the ball in the goal box. And holding on to it. Going to be Troyer. Four minutes and change to go in this first period. Settling pass went off the back of his teammate, and now Reisner picks it up. And it'll be sent forward for Gingrich. Gingrich working against Diamond. Diamond looking to hold on to the ball. Turns around, stepping in was Kaufman, and now coming near side, picking it up is Nur. Sending forward, Nur will... End up on the ground with Kaufman grabbing his backside. Goes out for a throw. Down inside the box now is Van Fossen. Nur looks to go inside, and I think that was a shot blocked and goes out. Ball will ride out for a Vikings throw on the far side. Three and a half minutes. The ball knocked around and now cleared by Hostetler. Up top there, Gingrich. He's going to send near side. Trying to pick that one up before it goes out of bounds, and they do. No, it is out of bounds, according to our assistant referee on the far side. As that was almost grabbed there by Reese Mullet, and he had plenty of room to run if he's able to keep it in. Throw in is... Fielded for a moment, now sent down towards Gingrich, headed away. Ball's loose. Jones just puts it in the air. It'll come out of play and bounce into the bleachers. 2.40 to go in this one. At least in the first overtime period. If we remain tied at one apiece, there will be another one. Golden goal. So here's the throw in. Stepping in front of it to grab it with Thad Stone. He made one miss, and now driving in was Keon Stone. Sends it all the way across, untouched. It'll go out for a Hawks throw-in on the far side. Two minutes to go in the first overtime period. Two Here's the throw-in. Headed forward, ball is loose. Jones trying to step in front and play defense. Shot just wide there. Just a little bit wide by Van Fossen. Only the second attempt in the overtime as it'll be played short. Jones, a dangerous pass across the mouth of the goal. Now sent forward. Chupp will get it knocked down. Looking to turn around and get it to his teammate. He goes far side to Troyer. Troyer sending right side. Gingrich one-on-one. -on -one. Gingrich breaks away. Gingrich left foot. Scores! Highland wins! Gingrich with the game-winning goal. 114 left in golden goal. Overtime one. Hawks two. Vikings one. We'll be back on WKLM.
If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy. At Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single-axle, A-tandem, and tri-axle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Middlesburg and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. Resetting your password. Unsubscribing from emails. Printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com. Highland wins in the first overtime period by a final score of 2-1 to one, thanks to this goal coming off the foot of Zach Gingrich. At 114 remaining, the assist going to go to Olin Troyer as he just sends it forward. Gingrich in the box. He had room, and he just puts it in to the left of the keeper, Johnson, to win this match for the Hawks as they will advance to play either Worthington Christian or West Muskingum. Jake Sano with you to wrap this one up, and we don't have a score from the Worthington Christian-West Muskingum match yet. But we know the next game will be played on the 29th at a time and place to be announced between either Worthington Christian and Musk or Muskingum against Highland. We'll go through these final numbers with you real quick. And it was 1-1 after one period of play and then after two uh, halves before we went into the first overtime period. Tommy Diamond would make it one nothing off his go uh, unassisted goal at 28-13 in the first half. Thad Stone will then tie it at one with his own goal at 1-12 remaining in the first half. And then 40 minutes plus with no goals as the final goal would be scored by Zach Gingrich, assisted by Olin Troyer, to win this match in golden goal overtime with 1.14 remaining, 2-1. to one. The Hawks, two goals on 18 shots and three corner kicks, seven fouls, were called offsides twice. The Vikings, one goal on 15 shots, two corner kicks, ten fouls, two offsides calls. No yellow card cautions or red cards were issued in this match. Sean Troyer will get the win in goal for the Hawks. He had nine saves. Meanwhile, Maddox Johnson will take the loss with a 10-save performance uh, with Gingrich just being able, able to sneak it by him to finish off the match. Well, that's going to just about do it for us, everyone. Thank you for tuning in tonight. It's been a pleasure uh, calling this game for you. A few thank yous to send out. First, uh, Fred Williams and Wendy, ha Wendy Hollinger, who uh, were our video crew tonight, Fred working the producing side, Wendy on the camera side. Uh, thanks for your help, guys. I think uh, I don't say I can't don't say it enough. None of what we do would be able to happen if it weren't for you guys behind the scenes. One more time, the final score in this one, two to one, the Hawks win in overtime to advance to the district championship game against either Worthington Christian or West Muskingum. For Fred Williams and Wendy Hollinger, I'm Jake Seidel signing off, reminding you to stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow here on WKLM. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching High School Soccer from FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's game has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.